The Nigeria police have launched the Force Order 20 in Abuja, whereby detainees in police custody can now enjoy free legal services. Top police officers, members of civil society organizations at a meeting to launch an initiative that will provide for the delivery of criminal justice administration in the country. Although the Force Order 20, which is also known as the Police Solicitor Scheme, has been in existence since 2005, the amended version provides free legal services to detainees in police custody across the 36 states and the Federal Capital Territory. The Force Order had always been in existence, but it has now been amended to include a lawyer's visit to the police station. Members of the civil society organizations who played leading roles in the adoption of the scheme in 2005 list major success recorded and why the amended version of the scheme should be embraced by all. The first five years, this scheme uh, benefited and ad provided services to and diverted out of pretrial detention 13,000 detainees in four states. That was what led to the expansion and over the past 10 years, we've addressed the needs of over, over 50,000 detainees. Next to speak is the Inspector General of Police, Mr. Ibrahim Idris. He shares the same views as other speakers, emphasizing that all detained persons in police custody will enjoy the services offered. The scheme will guarantee lawyers engaged by the legal aid council access to persons arrested and detained in the police stations across the country to offer them free legal representation. This will reduce, if not eliminate, the usual allegation of prolonged detentions, torture and extortion at police formations across the country. From now, detained persons are expected to get access to the free legal services. This ultimately is expected to entrench the principle of the rule of law. Before we go, a new panel of appeal court's justices have been assigned to hear the appeal filed by the wife of the former president, Mrs. Patience Jonathan, against the temporary seizure of a sum of $5.9 million. These and other court stories coming up shortly. The Court of Appeal in Lagos has slated the 3rd of November to hear the appeal filed by former First Lady Mrs. Patience Jonathan seeking to stop the permanent forfeiture of $5.7 million and 2.4 billion naira to the federal government. Justice Mojisala of a federal high court in Lagos had on April 26, in a ruling on an ex parte application by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, gave the directive. In Abuja, a federal high court sitting has struck out one of nine counts of $1.6 billion crude oil fraud instituted against businessman Gideon Mokri and five others. In a ruling delivered by Justice Namdi Dingba, the court struck out count eight after hearing an application by a former Minister of Petroleum Resources, Mrs. Dezani Allison Madweke, who claimed that she was indicted in the particular count without being given the opportunity to defend herself. The defendants listed in the case include Gideo Mokre, Atlantic Energy Brass Development Limited, and four others. But the former Petroleum Minister was not listed among the defendants Neither was she given the opportunity to defend herself before being indicted. It's been an honor to have you join me on the program. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Victoria Ido. Bye for now.